Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome, lightweight travel trailer that has corner bunk beds that also works for storage, an outside kitchen, and it's an amazing price and weight. This is a 2022 Highland Ridge Olympia Light model 242BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Olympia Light and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be taking a look at the Olympia Light, L-I-T-E. But before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. Howdy, partner. How's it going? It's going good. Um, we're still here in Charleston, South Carolina at the beautiful brand new RV1 here. Yes. And um, Olympia is exclusive to RV retailers. Yes. Um, but it's very similar to the um, Open range, right? Yes, Highland Ridge Open Range open Light. Open range light, yep. Yep, and we sell both Open Range Light and Olympia Light nationwide. That's right. So if you guys like these, make sure you contact us. Will, let's begin. All right. Model is 242BH Olympia Light. The actual tip tip length, 29 feet 11 inches. The dry weight's only 5,615 pounds, and the hitch weight is 635 pounds. But Will, that is without options. Of course. Always know before you tow, get the exact measurements. But Will, this is an awesome unit, and it's awesome by starting right up front with the power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go there. Look at this nice molded fiberglass front cap, Olympia Light. Super nice, this is made by Highland Ridge. So they do what Highland Ridge does, which is these individual screws for the trim. It looks nice, it looks better, and it looks more secure. Right. Okay? Coming on down the side here, we do have huge storage. Dang, Will, that is some huge storage really underneath. Really is. Right here, we do got the Furion side camera prepped marker lights, which is very nice. Yep. Manual stabilizing jacks right there. And then coming on down the side here, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Okay. Right here, looks like a 10 gallon DSI water heater. Speakers on the outside and everything that you need. And then look at these tires, well, they're Castle Rocks. I love those. ST205-75R14. Very nice. Coming on down here, we do got the nice solid steps, XF steps. And I love this because look at how the doorways above the right. tire well, you couldn't get a floor plan this small before that had this floor plan. It was always a little bit bigger. But because of the solid steps, they were able to design it this exactly. way. Exactly. Right here, nice grab handle. And this does have the thermal seal, which is a heated enclosed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. And this is kid and pet friendly. Nice. They, they know the way to my heart, Will. Pet That's friendly. right. You know, I don't know how I feel about the kid friendly, though. <laughs> right here, Will, is the nice little outside kitchen, okay? Okay. We got the IRV chill fridge right here, which is very nice power right there a little spray port and then this is a nice little capital cooktop it's the capital cooktop will that's right all right going around the back we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky spare tire spare tire carrier it is prepped for the furion backup camera and we do got a ladder to get up on the roof will let's go up there and take a look all right here we're going now be careful up here on the roof you can see it's a nice one piece pvc roof one air conditioning unit i love that king air digital antenna and a place for a max air fan right there careful last step here we go great and if you haven't already make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button with rv salesman's taking his fat ass up on the roof showing you what features the roof has to offer nobody nobody finishing up well Check them out, uh, olympiarvr.com, heck yeah. Over here, it's where you dump your tank. 30 amp unit well, there was uh, one AC unit there. Okay. Right here is the black tank flush, city fill, outdoor shower, and everything. Cool. Great, and then wrapping up well. All right, the other side of this storage here, which this is huge and massive storage. 
Great. And well, before we go in on the inside, um, let's give a big shout out to Furion. Furion's owned by Lippert. If you guys like these side camera marker lights or if you guys need a rear camera, we've linked Furion down in the description below. We appreciate them and Lippert for sponsoring our channel. Well, let's go in on the inside. All right. No more two minute commercials, Will. Okay. <laughs> Straight to the point. Bye, Furion camera. Let's go. <laughs> That's right. Check out the inside. All right, we'll start up front. Got the bedroom up here. Kitchen, living area, dining area, all here. Bunks in the back. And bathroom back here as well. Well, we're starting with the bunks in the back. Okay. Bunks in the back, bunks in the back. We got nice double bunks in the back, okay? Um, right here. Oh, is that supposed to stay like that? Oh, I don't like that. But check this out. This flips up out of yeah, the way. I love that. Bada bing, bada boom, storage. You got a ladder right here, storage right in here. Let's sit in this, baby. This is a nice line. You got a window here, USB there, power there, and a little nook for you to store your phone. And you got a bed above there. Really nice, Will. I much prefer these bunk beds. They're nice, they're comfortable. It's 300 on this lower one, 200 on this upper one. And they just do a really good job with it. I like the teddy bear mattress and feel. And truthfully, if like Will and Jen had this unit, I'd be sleeping in this. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, this is a lot more comfortable than the sofa. That's right. All right. Over here, no sofa area. This does have a nice, huge U-shaped dinette. Look right. at that. This is so nice. So first, check out these balances. Boom, slow rise shades. I love this. How is all these travel trailers having these slow rise shades and I can't get them in my motorhome? I know. All right, right over here is the U-shaped dinette. Now it's a little tight for me, honestly, but this does, is this nice? It does drop down to make a bed. You got the whole family that can sit here and everything. And this is a unit that's short and lightweight, Will. If you guys want a sofa, you just gotta go with a longer unit, you know? All right. Nice big windows here and everything. And we are looking directly across to the TV Entertainment Center. Insignia, very nice name brand TV. Furion sound system here. And then check this out, little bits of storage there. Actually, that's kind of deep over there. It is, that's which great. It's very nice. And then coming around the side over here, well, we do got, oh man, look at that. That's even deeper storage. That's crazy. Very nice. You got the slide out controls, interior and exterior lights, water and everything. And then, Will, we're gonna mix it up some. Okay. Go stand in that sh Oh, man, it's a shower tub, Will. It sure is. Well, what do you think's worse, shower tubs or radius tubs? Shower tub. Is worse than a radius shower? Yeah. Mmm. I don't know, guys. That's a debate for America. Which one do you guys like less? How do you feel about that? There is good ceiling height, and the width is okay. It's just like this way. And I just know. Like with it's the, the depth. It's yeah, the depth. It's the depth. I don't think I can pass it. All right. Whomp, whomp. Okay, let's. You want to switch? Or? Nope. Nope. I want to stand right there. We do got the nice double medicine cabinet here. Okay. Nice sink with storage underneath there. Okay. Now you come on out there. Okay. Very nice. Let's sit on this toilet. Here's what I will say Highland Ridge always does an excellent job with their toilets. Remember the 212FB, yep. that huge bathroom? Guys, they get it. They're campers themselves. They understand the importance of a nice toilet placement. It is porcelain and well, guess what? What? This is a prime poop position. Ding! Very nice. All right, Will, show everybody this kitchen. Okay. MSRP? No, Will, I'm switching it up. Okay. You know why? Because I want people to feel surprised. Okay, sounds so, good. I'm gonna throw in the MSRP at a random time. All right, nice high point microwave right here. Range hood right there. Food range. And a nice three burner Furion cooktop with the blue lights and oven right there. Yes. Nice storage here. I like the um, farmhouse style look they got going on yeah, here. Yeah, Highland Range always does a great job. Yep. Little window on your camping side. Decent counter space for the size trailer. Okay, okay. Couple drawers here. Yes, sir. And then more storage up top here. Again, good counter space, little spray faucet, 
inserts here and they're not salt oh, no, no. countertops? Oh, no, 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 sir. We must see it all. <laughs> nice big Very TV. good. A sink like that cannot be overlooked. Right. And Look at that. Door storage right there. Mm -mm -mm. Behind me is this nice refrigerator. It's not cooling for some reason. And pantry right there. Something else that I'm noticing that I'm liking, Will. Look at this flush yep, floor. I love that. Very nice. You got your power and USB there. Yep. Something else that I'm noticing. There's no heat ducts on this floor. Very nice. This is truly kid and pet friendly. And do you know what time it is, Will? It's, it's now time, time for the MSRP. MSRP. Let's kick it over inside where we can talk to Elijah. Elijah, what is the MSRP of this unit? $46,590. MSRP. But that's not what nope. he sells it for here in Charleston. What do you sell it for? Ultra low price of $39,500. Guys, if you're interested in this unit, this is Elijah. He's our great friend who's GM of RV1 of Charleston. How do people get a hold of you? Just call our store at 843-900-2140. Just ask for Elisha. Perfect. Make sure you tell him you watch Matt's RV reviews. Let's continue the video. If you know, you know. Will, up here in the bedroom, check this out. We got a little privacy curtain right there. Nice. Look at this huge storage all the way around. Right. Check that out. Okay. This is nice. Also notice how it's a dark color cabinet. It is. You got a drawer right there, power and USB. I like how they did that. They made like the bedroom dark cabinetry and the living room light cabinetry. Right. You got nice storage here. Okay. Queen size bed. Well, look at this. Oh, laundry chute. Landry chute. Yes, sir. Right there. That goes down to that awesome storage. We got a queen size bed right here. Oh, look Very at this. Nice. This is I what I that. like, Will. We looked at a unit the other day. It's just like, dude, you might have struts, but you don't open. This right. opens. Look at this. Over here on my side, I got drawers. Yeah. And then over there, you got storage. And then again, this is nice, Will. You know why? You now I can take my shirt off. Yeah, yeah, I can get ready. There's no seating area. It's okay. You got to put your shoes on out there. But this is super nice. Also, something that I really do love is this pocket door right here. Yep. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Short and sweet. Nice little short and sweet unit. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like. Okay, my first like's outside. Well, like number one is this huge and massive storage. I absolutely love what they did here. Look at how big it is and how spacious it is. They really took the storage and amplified it with some of the biggest doors. They did. Really Looks knocked great. it out of the park. Yep. That is like number one. Well, like number two, for me, I'm going to say I love this U-shaped dinette. Yep. Now, I do much prefer the seats here, but if you're going to give me a dinette, give me the U-shaped dinette. I really do like that. I really like what they did here. I'm going to combo that with the flush floor, Will. Right. Really did a great job knocking it out of the park. That's number two. And then, Will, like number three? I'm definitely going with this bed flip up. Yes. In a floor plan like this, you're getting a small bedroom. You, you are. have that flip up, get out of the way. It's really nice to be able to get ready in here. It sure is. Well, well, that's three things we like about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. And again, I'm going to teleport outside. Okay. Dislike number one, Will. I do not like this water bay hookup. I think it's very cheap. I much prefer when it's up there. Yeah. Um, and a unit like this, like if this was an entry level unit, I'm okay with it. But this level, this price point, I'm not a super fan of that. I agree. That is dislike number one. Great. That's dislike number one. Well, dislike number two, can I go again? Sure. I'm going to say this fridge. Okay. You know, we've been in a lot of units and everybody's been upgrading their fridge to the bigger yeah, fridges, they to have. the compressor fridges. This is just your old school, small RV fridge. That's right. And truthfully, like three years ago, I wouldn't have mined this, but everybody's going to those newer ones and those bigger ones. And I just yep. prefer that now. I agree. Just to, like, it's not even, it's, look, like that's not, that's not cool. Right. That's not working fast. Those compressor refrigerators, they work off the battery and they're ice cold. They are very quick. And we need that to cool down our crappy GoPro batteries. That's right. That's number two. And then, well, number three. Okay, kind of along the same lines is there's not a lot of counter space in here, especially considering this is kind of a family travel trailer. So they should have extended should have. this first of and done yep. a really nice flip up counter. They should have done the flip up counter yeah. or extended it. Well, I 100% agree with you. I don't know why they did that. Yeah. Maybe it saved $10 off the price. Who Probably. knows? 
who cares? But well, overall, it's an excellent unit at an excellent price. And again, guys, that's it and that's the review. If you guys are interested in this unit, please go to our website, matsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. Guys, we sell this nationwide throughout RVR, so it doesn't matter. We know we're gonna be able to get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience. Or, if you do live close to South Carolina, guys, call Elijah, his store, this RV one of Charleston, they're gonna take amazing care of you. Will, anything you wanna say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much yes, for watching. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.